Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into a daily read. We're going to talk about Thursday or thereabout. Beginning with the Prism Oracle, what do we have, Spirit, for Thursday? We're beginning with protection. I'm so sorry if you can hear the annoying uh, noise outside that's going on, but it is a day that reminds you of how protected you truly are and are meant to be even more so moving forward. I feel there's also a protection, uh, rather a protective kind of energy about you at certain points, uh, feeling the need to make sure uh, almost i want to say for some a very controlling kind of energy wanting to make sure that things worked out perfectly or just more ideally than you know the previous days weeks or just the past in general i feel as if there is a sense of luck being on your side and timing being on your side or time in general is a better way to put it but it does feel like with the noise in the background i don't know if you can actually hear it i very much can it's a day where there may be noise factors. There may be uh, touchy or interesting wording. Didn't mean to say that. Uh, not so ideal or uh, energy that you just simply don't like. Okay. Uh, whether it's someone you're living with, working with, it could be in a storefront uh, that you're visiting, uh, shopping. Okay. For somebody working at, it definitely uh, doesn't have to be limited to those uh you know uh, potentials but i feel like uh, there's just energy that you're not loving for one of multiple reasons and spirit's saying well there's a reasoning for that i feel this could be reminding you of change that lies ahead uh whether you uh, agree with it or not whether you uh, chose it or not um or it may uh, push you to think about and maybe even more so initiate uh change for the future okay what else do we have so they're saying as well, protecting your energy is of importance throughout this day, especially with what we were just speaking upon. Movement. I feel like it's a day that pushes you to get up and be active, right? Um, not just physically, but to uh, make change, to be one with the fact that things can't stay the same. They shouldn't stay the same. And we have mentioned that in recent daily reads, um, you know, not too long ago, but it feels like a day where you want to get up and accomplish. You want to get up and, and do what you know you need to do to get ready for a change ahead for you. I know for me, I'm going to have to pack and uh, organize for another move of residence. I know I just moved in, but this place is just not all it was cracked up to be. I will miss the kittens, the cat, um, or the cats in general, but it's just the the guy i'm living with is just not a nice person and i can't have that around me i cannot uh be in the midst of someone who has moody bad energy is just on a nice person and is not trustworthy but um yeah well i also was kind of pushed to uh initiate the move he's saying he's moving his son in and it was just meant to be okay it pushed me to make this change and within a couple of days uh, I want to say actually four or five days, if I remember correctly, I secured a new spot. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. I have that tattooed on my chest. Let's move on to some tarot. Look at this. There may be a focus on rejection. All right. Or just, um, yeah, change in that sense. I mean, it reminds me again of me having to move, but they're saying you're strong enough to embrace change and to, uh, you know, move on forward with determination and make your life a better uh, place for you. Interesting. Um, a better space is what I'm hearing. Moving on to the Mystic Mondays Tarot. I'm being drawn to look at what seems like a heart, okay? That rejection may be uh, romantic or maybe once was or could have been. Uh, you may be thinking about love or just the potential of which. I feel like people are loving on you even at, at a distance for some. The Two of Pentacles, there's a sense of you weighing out the options and I feel like you're being watched very closely. People are noticing the behavior uh, or behaviors uh, when it comes to you, your mannerisms, what you're speaking, um, people feeling inspired because of you. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a focus on stalking, all right? Um, definitely reminding me of me being stalked in the past sorry sometimes i don't know if it's the cats or if it's um my roommate coming back anyways oh, it just reminds me to get out of this place 
the two of swords the two of wands so 22 on the board as well as 11 11 is significant and 111 and they're also saying 333 keep a close um uh kiss excuse me sorry there's a lot of noise and bad energy around me you're needing to make sure that you um stop overthinking okay for some drawn to the reading make sure you're not uh listening to any negative spirits coming through um the eight of swords and the queen of swords this very much for me is about this place but for you it's going to be something completely different that is leaving you in uh i'm hearing a state of disarray uh, a feeling of you not wanting to be somewhere or be wrapped up with something. Uh, there's a feeling of you wanting to put your hand up and say enough is enough. Um, that for some, that maybe in regards to your own habit or two. Um, but it does feel like what you don't see clearly right now. Okay, what you feel you haven't gained enough of, or in general uh, along your path up until this point, you're needing to trust in the mystery. You're needing to trust in the fact that things will work out for you when things quiet down at a certain point throughout the day. Take a simple, calm, deep breath and proceed forward with whatever you choose to or need to be wrapped up with. Um, applying yourself towards, uh, you know, for the remainder of the day. I do feel as if by the end of this day, you'll feel more accomplished than you were feeling uh, to begin with. But it's not going to feel like everything's checked off your to-do list. And that's okay. I need you to be proud of yourself by the end of this day. And even at certain points in the midst of which as it trickles on forward for doing everything that you can. It's this feeling of spirit reminding you if you give, if you only have 50% to give, right? Or whatever percentage it ends up being. And that's what you end up giving to this day, to this time period and to certain aspects of your world, regardless of what it ends up being for you, then you gave 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? Because how can you expect yourself to be at a certain percentage below 100 and then to give 100. It's just not possible and it's not realistic uh, to expect that from yourself, right? Um, there's a feeling as well, you just, you're not looking at things very optimistically within a situation. You know, I know I'm going to need to as I'm being shown the hanged man, adjust my perspective when it comes to where I'm living currently because I'm a manifester and as are you. Um, it's as if you're going to create a problem or two, a difficulty, a, a, a sticky situation, or more of which if you continue to or begin to expect the worst. It feels like something's giving you the shivers. It feels very spiritual um, or just leaving you feeling a bit squirmy. You're needing to take a deep breath and recognize this is something you are not going to be able to control. Okay. As I was just pushed to twitch. But um, the hermit card. There's significant alone time throughout this day and I feel like this is uh, important. It's gonna help you process, but that's also a time where you can very much be at risk of overthinking. So please tread carefully um, and strategically when it comes to that. Let's get ready to wrap up this reading. I'm hearing move with confidence, move with confidence. There's a new beginning on the horizon. Your bold and uh, strategic way of being and shifting forward is definitely part of this day. They're saying move, um, with passion. All right. Get it done. Get it done. Things are changing for the better. Okay. So if this was truly helpful, as always, I'm sending you a ton of love and light until next time.